an extra but before we do let's take a look at the day's trends on social media what's making news on uh, those alternative platforms or alternative media and to help us do that we're joined by Brian Okos a very yeah. good morning to you, Ahiga Maura, as well, I like to call you Higgs. Yes, it is good morning. Good morning yes. to you as well. As I like to call you Higgs, and let's take a look at what is trending in the world of social media and entertainment. And opposition leader Raila Odinga now says women from Meru County have one of the best skin tones in the country. And Raila attributes a good skin tone of Meru women to their staple diet, which comprises, he said, potatoes. And if I can quote exactly what he said, translated from Kiswahili, to English, I like uh, potatoes which are mostly cultivated in the Meru region and women from this part of the country have a very smooth skin because of their staple diet which comprises potatoes. Those were uh, opposition leader Raila Odinga's words on Saturday. You have, you have quoted him word for word. Word for word. You have word. not added any... I have not, I have not added even a okay. bit of uh, salt or anything. And he was in Meru County on Saturday alongside uh, NASA Corp Principal Moses Wetangula, who also told uh, Meru residents to shun away from intimate activities a day to the general polls. Let's take a listen in to what Mr. Odinga and Wetangula said. <laughs> Alright. Words. And moving on to another story, uh, Cardinal John Jewe has cautioned men against demanding unreasonable bride prices. And Jewe says in some cases the hefty bride price demands often scare away men from tying the note. And speaking of Blessed Sacrament Church Catholic in uh, uh, Buruburu here in Nairobi, an angry Jewe recounted an incident where a man was forced to call off a wedding after the father-in-law demanded 250,000 shillings but he could not raise the 250,000 shillings forcing the wedding to be called off. So he says that uh, at least parents be reasonable when you're demanding bride price for your daughters. I, 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 I don't think I have any comment. The only thing I would say to you is that uh, because I know you're not yet uh, there for you this proposal works but when you have a daughter and you've invested in her, you might look at it differently. Uh, wow. I, I leave my comments there. When you have a daughter and you, you invested be a in her, you might, have, you might look you at it differently. You've educated her, the highest institutions, Brian. Um, mm. I'm sure you, you will have some demands. So I think for me, it sometimes depends at what stage of life you are. But I think uh, uh, moderation, moderation, is that the right word? Or balance mm. uh, is key. And I, and I think that's what he was calling for. All right, now now. Salim swali tayari yuko studio pengine sikimaliza hii segment atatupa maoni yake kuhusiana na swala la bread price. All right, moving on to another story which is very interesting and one which you should be proud of. A 17-year-old Kenyan student named Manraj Sin has topped a global math contest. Sin beat over 150,000 students from across the world to top in the International General Certificate of Secondary Education IGCSE. 2016 and Sin is a 12th grader at uh, Melvin Jones School in Nakuru County and he has expressed interest in becoming a surgeon after finishing or rather completing his studies and in Kenya he was ranked the best student in computer science uh, counting additional mathematics and mathematics and he's putting us on a global map just like Lupita Nyong'o congratulations Sin you rock just like that and moving on to another story top Tanzanian artist Ali Kiba Alongside Nigeria celebrated seeing a Pato ranking are expected in the country this week. The two are back for Cork Studio recording and they will be part of the power guest on 10 over 10 this Friday. And mark your calendar for that particular uh, interview. Pato ranking and also Ali Kiba from Tanzania. Let What's me ask you a question, power? Brian. In media houses in uh, Tanzania and Nigeria, mm -hmm. when our artists go there, do they celebrate them like we do? Has um, that changed? What I understand that you even took time to mention on TV that they are coming, does that happen in other countries for our artists? All right, I understand uh, from uh, previous interviews by 
Yemi Alade and also Flavor, the Kenyan artist that has so much recognized out there is the top boy band Sauti Soul. So when Sauti Soul goes to Nigeria, at least they'll uh, hype the arrival in Nigeria on their social media platforms and also mainstream media platforms. But you know, uh, Nigeria has a whole lot of top, top celebrated artists uh, who, if they come to this country, at least we can't help but just have to highlight that news. Okay. All right, and moving on to another interesting, weird story from South Africa. <laughs> a healthcare <laughs> train in South Africa derailed last weekend after a section of the railway was allegedly stolen by unknown people. If you can. If I can have that picture full screen. It's actually on the screen. Yes. Uh, the train driver saw the broken piece of track ahead and reduced speed. No one was injured in the accident. That's I'm good, just trying to, to imagine, why would, somebody, why would somebody just decide to steal a rail track, surely? Okay. <laughs> but according to police <laughs> from uh, South Africa, they say that between Machodop and Carolina, which is 12 kilometers from Machado, where the incident happened, tracks were stolen a previous night tracks these long distance tracks eh? stolen mm. wow was stolen a previous night and uh, the train has derailed after the tr uh, the railway line was also stolen and this is due to high levels of ferrous and unferrous metal thefts and thefts on cables and tracks are a huge problem they say in south africa My, I, I think I, did i see something on this where kenyans were comparing that train with uh, the sdr yes. on social media all right south africans have electric trains but uh, this one is a healthcare train. It's like a m mobile hospital. Ah, mm. okay, okay. But it's like actually the largest in the world and has over 40 permanent staff on that train wow. at every single time. So it's more of a healthcare train than just a passenger train that Very offers commuting concept. services. Okay, carry on. All right, what were Kibra? <laughs> I just remember the Kibra incident. I hope Kenyans won't go a similar way with the SGR. And finally, on uh, he ending these uh, trends on a sad note, uh, top Arab singer, that is Mze Yusuf, lost his wife, known as Chiku Hamis Tumbo, on Saturday. And Chiku died while giving birth at Amana Hospital in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Sadly, her baby too did not make it, and Chiku was buried. Yes, uh, on Sunday, that is, 1 p.m. at Kisutu in Dar es Salaam. May Chiku Hamis Tumbo soul rest in peace and may God give strength to Mze Yusuf and family. Of course, our condolences to their family and friends. Uh, Brian, I think you had asked uh, uh, about uh, Salim Swale, whether he's here with us. I no. think mm. you, had a, you had a question for him. Yes, Nona Swale, I shared your studio, full Mzuka, full Kikosi. Pengine Salim Swale. Ungetuelezea ili swala la Brad Price unaonaje kwamba wanaume siku hizi wanaogopa sana kufunga ndoa kwa sababu wazazi wa msichana hasa akina baba wanataka pesa nyingi sana kama Brad Price. Wajua Brian kitu kimoja kinachoonekana wazi ni kwamba siku hizi swala la ndoa limekuwa ni kama biashara. Kwa sababu viongozi wengi wanakuwa tuseme wazazi wengi wanakuwa wanatumia nafasi hiyo vibaya kwa sababu wanataka kujilimbikizia lakini kuna hatari kubwa wakati mzazi mimi ni kama mzazi naweza kukwambia kwamba kuna hatari kwa sababu wakati unamweka binti yako unamwekea thamani kubwa kichwani kwake wakati atakwenda kule uh, anaonekana tu kama ni chombo ambacho kimenunuliwa thamani yake kama mke inapotea kwa hiyo uh, nawaasa wazazi wenzangu naweza kusema hivyo kwamba tuwe na uh, aina fulani uh, tuwe na aina fulani ya, ya kujaribu kudhibiti hali kama hicho on, on a lighter note, my director is asking me to ask Brian whether Kama Yeni Mzazi, just to <laughs> clarify where he stands on this whole matter. All right, now that uh, both Salim and I have given our opinion, where, where, where is yours? All right, kwa sasa mi si Mzazi na bado uh, si, sijafunga ndoa, lakini nakubaliana kabisa na Salim. Na sijalipa maari. Na sijalipa maari. <laughs> nakubaliana sana na Salim Swale kwa vijana kama sisi. Uh, wakati ambapo mtu anaweka thamani hasa ikifika kwa kuhusiana na ile swala la mahari mtu anaona mwanamke yule ambaye amemoa kama kama chobo fulani kwa sababu mm. atamkumbusha wewe unanikosea na unakumbuka nilikulipia shilingi milioni moja alafu sasa unanisumbua so at the end of the day i agree with uh, what Salim Swale says and also what Cardinal Njue says that you shouldn't really put a bride price hefty bride price on the head of your daughter simply because you want 
the highest Ala, bidder alafu kumbuke brand kitu kingine ni kwamba unakuta hao wanandoa ni wanandoa wachanga wanapaswa kujijenga Naam. sasa ukiwa utamsukuma kijana aweze kutoa fedha nyingi kwa ajili ya mahari wakati wao kama familia wanakwenda kuanzisha familia ndogo mm. familia changa mm. wanashindwa ni mahari tutalipa mm. au ni kitanda tutanunua au ni, ni kijiko tutanunua kwa hiyo unawaweka wale watoto wanandoa wachanga katika mazingira magumu sana Sasa hivi swali naona nitakutafuta siku ile nitakapokuwa naenda kuoa <laughs> wewe ukanizungumzie na wazazi <laughs> well, uposa nisumie sana kimfuko you can clearly tell the language in studio has changed and that indicates that citizen extra the english edition is over but right now we hand over to the capable hands of Salim Swale to take us into the Kiswahili edition he tells me he has a bumper show lined up and you can talk to him on our social media platforms as well Brian thank you for your insight and uh, we will be there with you when the time comes for you to pay bride price no matter the amount we'll be there with you we take a short break now we'll be right back <laughs>